Well, hey everyone, my name is James and welcome to the Daily Devo. Today, we're going to talk about anger and relationships. So we're going to look at a verse real fast. Let's jump right into it. Proverbs 22, verses 24 through 25 says, Don't befriend angry people or associate with hot-tempered people, or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. We've all met an angry person, a frustrated person, someone who always has something negative to say, and maybe just someone who just flies off the handle. Every single one of us probably dealt with that type of person and they are very difficult to deal with. As you're listening or watching this, you might be going, ooh, that sounds like me right now. Back to the verse. Don't befriend people like this, angry people, or associate with those hot-tempered people, or you're going to learn to be like them. I heard a really awesome quote that goes like this. It's a famous quote. For the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Do the people that you hang out with always have something negative to say? Are they always frustrated about something? Frustrated about a relationship? Frustrated um, about politics or whatever it may be and just angry with the world? The scriptures say in Proverbs, don't associate yourself with someone like that because they're just going to rub off on you. And eventually you're going to become someone who's negative and someone who's frustrated and someone who's angry about everything. Now, talking about anger, the first thing that came to my mind was road rage. And so I looked up on the internet some road rage statistics. So remember, I'm looking this up on Google, so these might be over-exaggerated a little, but here's some of the ones that I read. In 2019, 82% of people admitted to committing an act of road rage in the past year. 82%, that's a lot. A total of 12,610 injuries and 218 murders have been attributed to the road rage over a seven-year period in the United States. That's from Safe Motorist. 66% of traffic fatalities are caused by aggressive driving. That's from NHTSA. Then 37% of aggressive driving incidents involve a firearm. That's from Auto Vantage Club. 94% of traffic accidents are caused by driver error and frustration, NPR. And the last one from CNN, 500% increase has been reported with cases of road rage over the last 10 years. 500% increase. Guys and ladies, there is a lot of people driving angry on the road, frustrated, mad, you cut me off, you didn't use your blinker, all the different things that people get mad about. And I get it. We got to ask ourselves, hey man, is that me? And this goes further past just being angry. This goes, why am I angry? And then the people that I'm hanging around with, are they angry? And I am, and am I the way I am because of them? Because the scriptures say that's definitely a possibility. So to go past even anger is who are the folks that you hang out with? What relationships that do you have? Are they grow in your faith? Or are you taking a step back in your faith when you're with them? It's a great question to ask ourselves with those we spend time with. Now, a lot of times with anger, it's because what's going on in our mind is a battle of the mind and a battle of what you're thinking about, what's on your heart. And so Philippians chapter four, verse eight is great because it gives us some things that we should think about to put our minds in the right space. Okay, and here's what it says. Philippians 4, eight. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable, and right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. 
So when you're feeling super negative and you're super frustrated and you got off on the wrong side of the bed and nothing is going right and it's Monday morning and you're already frustrated, pull out Philippians 4, 8 and go, okay, how can I fix my thoughts here? I my, fix my thoughts on things that are true, things that are honorable. What is right? Pure. What's lovely going on right now? What's admirable? I mean, think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. And I tell you, one person who is excellent and worthy to be praised, and that is Jesus. And we fix our minds on him first thing in the morning. One thing that's not going to help is if you reach over and you pick up that cell phone first thing, you're still in bed, and you begin to look at social media, many times that's not going to help. You're going to more than likely see something that's annoying, you're gonna roll your eyes at it. Can't believe they did this, can't believe they did that. Oh, they're just bragging again. Whatever it might be on social media and it's gonna get you in the wrong headspace right off the bat. Maybe you roll out of the bed and right onto your knees. I don't know what you need in the morning. But the scriptures are here to help us and to guide us and to lead us. And it says these are things we can fix our hearts and our minds on, okay? So one more thing, one more time, true things, honorable things, right things, pure things, lovely things, and admirable things. Think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Hey, I hope that helped you. If you haven't subscribed to the Daily Devo, would you do that? Would you like this video? And would you share it with somebody today so it can be a help to their life as well? Well, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.